Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am sharing with you all my go-to makeup look. So for the last week, I have introduced a couple of new products to my everyday makeup look. There are some staples and some products that I also hauled um, during the Sephora sale that I will be using throughout today's video. It is a healthy mix of clean and maybe a not so clean beauty. Before we begin with the video, however, I would love to welcome everyone who has recently subscribed to my channel. Welcome. My name is Nadia and I am a licensed esthetician who loves to test and review skincare products. Feel free to add me on all of my other social media platforms. I will link those down below for you. Also, so if you have yet to subscribe, be sure to subscribe and make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you are notified whenever there is a brand new upload. Uh, I will be kind of moving on to a different kind of background. As I mentioned in the outro, we have a neighbor who just loves to listen to very loud music come five o'clock. So that is why I had to move my setup to this room again. I feel like I may just have to film in this room going forward just because, uh, you know, neighbors. So if you are curious as to what products I am wearing on the skin today, please keep on watching. Welcome to the video. I'm gonna start by applying a foundation to the skin today. I do have the Merit, the Minimalist Perfecting Complexion Stick. I have two shades, shade Buff and Bisque. This is what the unit carton looks like. I initially picked up two shades because could not figure out which one I would be. But from using the products this week, I have found that Buff works out, I'm sorry, Bisque works out the best, at least on my face. My hands are a little bit more tan. So this is the shade Bisque. And this is the shade Buff. So Buff is just a little darker. In challenge. I'm just gonna use the shade Bisque and my favorite method of application from using the product this week has been the Morphe M439 so I'll just kind of like tap and blend the product out that way from using the Merit the minimalist perfecting complexion stick this week I found that my favorite method of application is with the Morphe M439 brush. So what I've been doing is applying a few lines of the foundation over the complexion and then working them in to the skin. I don't find this product to dry up too quickly or to set quickly over the skin. I do find the coverage to be more on the medium side and luckily I haven't felt the need to apply a full coverage foundation as I initially did when I went back to work. I just feel like having not worn a ton of makeup during quarantine and then going back to work, I wanted to wear full coverage. But recently I've been using my EXA Satin Finish Foundation and then now I've been using the Merit, the Minimalist Perfecting Complexion Stick this week and I have found that it's just the right amount of coverage for me at this moment in time. I feel like the luminosity of my skin is peaking uh, through a very very nicely and it's not being like mattified at all so it's just a very natural kind of glow to the skin it's very easy to work with and I did use my finger to kind of uh, blend some of the foundation over this blemish that I had here um, on top of my 
brow. Okay, and now we're gonna move on to concealer. I um, used the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin con Concealer for, I wanna say about a week, maybe a week and a half, and I felt like it was too matte or too drying over the skin, so I've gone back to using my Marc Jacobs Extra Shot uh, Caffeine Concealer and Foundation. This is in the shade Medium 250. I'm gonna work that underneath the eye area with my beauty sponge, and then I'm gonna set it with the Veil Translucent Setting Powder by uh, Hourglass. And I'm gonna use the Hourglass brush for that. I have been uh, reaching for this brush like no other recently. I totally forgot I had it in my collection. I'm also gonna be using the brush to set my T-zone with, I wanna say, one of my newest favorite products. I'll also say that I haven't been using a ton of concealer recently since uh, having used the Shani Darden Intensive Eye Cream. I think that's the name. I have uh, noticed that my dark under eye circles haven't been too present. Um, I've also been sleeping a lot, not as much as I used to during quarantine, but I have definitely been trying to meet my sleep uh, target goals. It just makes me happy to sleep. I just love sleep. The Kosas Cloud Setting Powder. I have the shade Comfy, which I feel like it's such a good match for me. I have been obsessed with this powder, clearly. Four brows. I have been using three products to do this bold brow look. First, I go in with the Kosas Brow Pop. This is the Dual Action Defining Pencil. This product took a lot of kind of getting used to because of the tip. It's got kind of like a triangle uh, tip to it. So it definitely took a lot of getting used to since I'm more used to a regular pencil. But so far I have been loving and enjoying this product. Next, I go in with the Kosas Air Brow in Clear. Now, this definitely gives my brows a little bit of kind of a staying power without it feeling crunchy or uncomfortable. And finally, to add a little bit more of a bolder look to the brow, I've been going in with the Merit Brow 1980 Volumizing Pomade. I have the shade Brown, and this further gives the eyebrow hairs a little bit of staying power. It also makes the brow look a little bit bolder, and it's not crunchy at all. All. Since I'm still wearing a mask at work, why not spend a little bit more time on my brows? That's pretty much all my clients can see are like my brows and my mascara and nothing else. So that those are the products that I've been using for my brows. So for the lips today, I am applying the Merit shade slick tinted lip oil in pink beet this is described as a cool pink this is the shade i purchased myself 
but I have also been loving the shade O Naturel, which is a warm blush, and Marrakesh, which is a bright peach. Now, these lip oils definitely pack a punch as far as their uh, color is and i really really like how this lip color works beautifully with the blush shade for lashes i'm gonna use the bite beauty upswing full volume mascara this is what the wand looks like uh, it was a little bit overwhelming when I initially uh, began using this particular mascara and it does look like Clump City uh, when it is on the wand. Now this has been my go-to mascara since I hauled this in my Sephora kind of spring sale and I have been using this every day until yesterday where I um, tested something completely different. I had to change filming rooms because uh, our neighbor here likes to uh, listen to music uh, very late on into the afternoon and it kind of interferes with my filming schedule. So thank you all so much for joining me in today's video. Thank you for spending some time with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. I do have a an affiliate code with Merit, which I will link down below. I don't think there is a, it's a coupon code, it's just an affiliate code, which really, really helps me out as I am a very small channel so do click down below it is listed in the bottom bar in case you are curious about any of the Merit Beauty products I featured in today's video. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next video. Bye!